I like the biggest wave I've ever surfed is like Australia at like 10 foot or something, 10 foot face. And I like cried like a baby. So I can't even like fathom what you guys do, but I watch it and I know what it's like when I've been smashed, when I've just like really gotten like pounded, like hit the bottom of the sand. And I'm like, how did that happen? And then I watch guys on kayaks go over waterfalls and they'll go down like a, like a hundred foot waterfall. And you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, like, don't you think you're going to die? Cause everyone else does like, Dude, you know, a surfer I'll... has like, but they basically just jump like oh, this, this could be it. Yeah. And plus it doesn't end the waterfall. I, there was one that just went viral recently. Like one of those kayak clips that was so psycho. But I guess you're attached to the floaty kayak. You must trust that, right? Have you ever kayaked like whitewater? Yeah, barely. It's, like, I mean, I did it with my family like, in Virginia. When you roll over, you got to pull that oh strap God. to release yourself. And I asked my friend who taught me to kayak. I said, what if I'm unconscious? He goes, then you're dead. <laughs> I was like, oh, no shit. I was like so like i go if i hit my head on a rock he's like yeah somebody might get to you i go Maybe. might yeah so uh it doesn't seem very safe to me kayaking seems like way worse than even surfing but i i don't think people realize how dangerous and how physical surfing is especially like the physicality of like your wipeouts and i can because I've only done it to like a certain extent, I can only equate it to like, there's nothing like I played football. It's like way worse than getting hit by like a linebacker, you know, like coming through the line. It's way worse than like, there have been times when I think my like arms are coming off my body, like spinning. And I'm like, but I watch you guys do it. Like one wipeout like that for me. And I like, I'm like, I think I'll sit a couple out now. You guys like, especially like I'll watch a contest. It's just like, Oh, they'll do it eight times in 20 minutes. They'll just take yeah. eight huge wipeouts. That, um, yeah. Watching that jaws event, they, people suck. They just, cause it's like the big stage, you know, and everyone there's like a way more wipeouts than there would be on a free surf. That's why I'm like, not that excited about that contest anymore. Well, that's um, the one you got hurt, right? Yeah, Is that I got caught up in the hype. That was one. I took off on this wave and I went straight, which you don't do on big waves. Um, and the lip landed directly like, it was probably like a 40 foot face wave or something. Like it was a really, really big wave and it was really thick. And the lip landed like right in front of me as I was trying to outrun it. And I ended up like with a really bad concussion. I, I honestly got probably pretty close to drowning and yeah the concussion fucked me up for like i'm just honestly never been the same um not that bad anymore but for a while there i was like depressed i was pretty much crazy for like a year and a bit um but yeah like that's why i just don't like this contest people get too excited and just go too hard and those what? those white balls suck now that i'm when I was 19, they weren't that bad. <laughs> now that I'm 30, they fucking they last a lot longer. It's like hangovers. It's just like hangovers. Or like I used to be able to just get messed up one night, and friggin' next day I'm fine. And now it's like a week of just feeling like depressed and like shit. And big wave wipeouts are kind of the same thing now. Yeah, it's, I used to be able to paddle right back out. Now I'm just like, all right, I think I'm well, not gonna do anything the end of for it. the next three like, days. It's, the testosterone starts shutting off. The human growth hormone stops. And now it's like you just turn into an old man. <laughs> it's so sad. Man. It's so sad because I'm not going to name names, but we know there are guys out there that are, you know, doing testosterone and human growth hormone. And it's, it makes a huge difference. You can handle everything better. You know, like I've talked to drug dealers that deal that kind of stuff and they're like, oh yeah, you feel like an 18 year old again. You'll shoot loads across the room. They're like, you knock a chick out. <laughs> they're, like, you, they're like, you just, you, you don't know what it's like. And I'm like, why? Well, I, I, I do know what it's like. Cause I was 18 once and I would like to feel that way again, but I'm kind of nervous about putting an exogenous drug in my body, a hormone <laughs> that I don't know 
like what it's going to do is my head going to grow am i going to lose more hair than i've already lost you know like yeah I, i'm nervous about that shit it's funny i'll, I'll keep my hair i'll keep my hair over everything oh yeah maybe that's what maybe i need to do dude since i don't have contests and stuff no one's testing me for drugs if i really want to just you know stretch out the career i could just go the full roid route you don't think there are guys that do it? No, I know there are. I see them all yeah, the time. I mean, I mean, a lot of pro surfers. Yeah. yeah. There's tons of them out there. And yeah, and I would say. deer antlers and shit. Yep. Yep. Well, that, that's one, uh, right? That's the one people my, do. My buddy does deer antler all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and he tells me I'm crazy for not doing it. <laughs> he's like man you, you gotta get on the deer antler i'm like what's it? do you snort it do you do you drink it what is it no they snort it right don't they like yeah, grind up deer antler and snort it i swear people i don't do know that. here here i'll tell you what it says it does i don't think it works i think it's one of those fake ones i think deer antler yeah, does no uh, shit. it's all placebo like <laughs> i've had on this show i've had some serious steroid guys that'll tell you like what works and what doesn't work for what I would imagine for surfing, you'd probably want to do something like EPO. EPO this, it's the same stuff that like Lance Armstrong did because it's going to give you better <laughs> endurance. Um, like you're just going to be able to paddle all day. And Yeah, you can't get able... bulky. That's why. I have never seen a good surfer who's like super jacked. Uh, I was going to say. Uh... Or a comedian, Joe Piscopo yeah. and Carrot Top. <laughs> that's, that's what's um, Rogan. That's funny Rogan's about comedy. Carrot. You guys get judged on looks a lot, huh? No, but like, you, as a chick, if you're hot, you soar to the top. If yeah, you're a dude and you're good looking, it's the world's against you. I have yeah, a no, that's that I what see. I mean. Yeah. Oh, nobody like thinks you're funny, funny looking, you're looking like, yeah, being funny looking is such a huge, huge start in comedy. I feel like that's what's cool about I'm comedy, though. Right I've been now. thinking about that hold, now that I'm on. Um, hold on one second. We're freezing up. Oh, what is that? Um, what's going on? Something wrong with yours? Oh, if you have any uh, open windows other than the Zencaster, close them. Oh, okay. That can slow it down. Um, I got some pretty fast internet here, dude. First yeah, well, time in my uses, life. It uses crazy, crazy, uh, like this new thing that I use, this Zencaster uses a lot. Uh, yeah, comedians like like Lachlan Patterson, my buddy that I surf with, is, he's really good looking. He's like male model good looking. And... Uh, He's a really funny comedian and he'd be like a star, except he like walks in the room. People are like, oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like <laughs> I always thought about that when we talked about doing that project. I was like, what? Would, like, it must be so weird because like being like a fat dude is just a huge. You're like already starting a little funny, you know, <laughs> like, oh, a little because <laughs> people are assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm an average looking guy, average for a comedian. I'm good looking. And it's, like, I know, I know it's hurt. It looks like it hurts you. I, I can totally see it. It really does. Guys look at me like, Oh, fuck this guy. I don't. And I do it too. Cause there's like good looking comedians and I'll see them. And I'll be like, Oh, what's, what's this guy doing here? Why is he? Yeah, could cause be, <laughs> he could cause you want to like, you want to hear them complain about shit. And when you hear a good looking person complain about something, you're just like, you know what? You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> 